Hey guys, we're starting today's raids off with a jackpot that I just found, a decaying base. You can see the sleeper over there. I've already checked these boxes, but check it out. At first, it doesn't look too good. He's got some pistols, pistol ammo, revolvers, a chest plate, but moving on. LRs, some components. Looks like this dude might have been broke. Some more ammo. 18 satchels though and 10 rockets in this next box. A stack of explosive ammo. And it was KOS Clan. I don't know how to say that name, but anyway, MP5 on his body. And the jackpot was up here, over here in the center. Must have been the last thing to decay. I'm guessing this was the TC. But 33k sulfur sitting in here with 30 satchels. Two airdrop signals. I guess this couldn't have been the TC because there's satchels in there. But anyways, it was one of his main loot rooms. And the box below it was empty. Two coffins over here. I think they were just drop boxes though because they were empty. So we've got some fuel for these next raids. The 33k sulfur. 10 rockets. We'll probably make C4 out of those. Maybe shoot these satchels off, but they're kind of a pain. And for this next raid, we've got a bunker made out of roofs. These are pretty interesting to me to see how they secure their loot off, but it's made of stone and kind of smaller, so I think we might be able to put these satchels to use. So I'm hoping we'll hear a counter raider ladder in. Won't be as easy to lose a gunfight. We'll take the backside away from that gate just so they can't peek me through that hole. Let's blow straight into the back of one of these roofs. Wow, guess it might be my lucky day. Only one satchel didn't go off. Straight into a stone wall. I guess we could have seen that coming. All right, these satchels seem to be cooperating. Gonna send rockets here just because there are two pathways. All right, boxes. Obviously, we should have taken a sheet metal door on this one. This was not cheap going in through the edge here. Workbench three, nothing. Maybe we use a satchel here just to take these boxes out so we can pass through. Okay, this base is completely empty. What is this? Doors left open? I wonder if he gave up. And we've got a counter. He's gonna have to ladder over the high wall though. Let's hurry this up. Maybe send some rockets. Oh my God, it's actually unlocked. And there's TC. Maybe we can get this thing walled off quickly enough. We'll even have to worry about that counter. They're coming in. Looks like we might have a fight here. There go boys, let's check that TC. 14k sulfur, not bad. Consider we use mainly satchels. I think we're gonna have to kill this guy though. 15 tech trash. And components. More rockets in here, just two. All right, took him down. I think that's about it. We literally got all the loot on us right now. Let's just get out of here before people come. Oh my gosh, look at that base all the way out there, half underwater. That could be pretty interesting to raid. 
All right, so we're gonna take this boat out there, what's on the other side of the lighthouse, and check that underwater base out. How is this thing still standing out here? It's like an underwater tower, pretty cool though. You know, we don't even see a front door in this thing. Might have to blast through some sheet metal, or we could wipe it, you know? Probably wipe this thing, didn't bring any diving gear though. Um, let's just blast straight down here. I don't think you can place boxes really anywhere underwater. Ooh, look at this loot room. This is epic. Gonna need some rockets for sure. And that garage door actually didn't even have a lock on it. TC. What do we got? Two rockets. 256 explosive ammo. Gonna need to see some sulfur, obviously. Diving gear there for us. Not much in the components box. TC's got 20 explosives. What the heck? So we took a loss on that one, but still a pretty neat base design. So going to be trying my luck with one of the bigger bases on the server. You guys see this thing? It's got a huge flanking tower. That's what I assume that is. We see an auto turret there and I saw a couple more over here. Looks like they're guarding the high walls. Maybe we take a pathway through his gates and we can dodge some of these. I think rockets should destroy both of these with four. Okay, this one's got to be weak. Okay, that didn't help. So we've got turrets even here right by the entrance. Might be able to toss a C4 on this thing though. All right, this one's already proving to be an extremely difficult raid. It's another turret over here too. Maybe we can just leave that one up. I might just risk running into there, guys. Ooh, okay, that could even protect from counters. My only question is, is there gonna be more turrets in here? Yeah, some turrets even up on the base itself. Bunch of them. Maybe some C4 toss over this, because we're getting low on meds. Not sure if that's going to do any damage, but I don't really want to send rockets on these things. Okay, it's pretty close. Gosh, can we get onto the actual base here? I hear garages opening, guys. Oh. All right, definitely not as easy as it looks. They must have had a motion sensor or they were in their AFK because we didn't hear any movement until the last second. About to go onto his front door, but there's so many auto turrets in the compound that kind of stopped me from doing the raid. Hopefully we can find some better luck on these last big base raids we do. Recently been failing a lot of them. But hey, we'll give it another shot tomorrow. Maybe we can finally succeed.